In this video, we're going to find the minimum of this function subject to this constraint over here using the method of Lagrange multipliers. So when you're using the method of Lagrange multipliers, uh, you have to start by solving the following equations. So we have the gradient of f, x, y, z, is equal to lambda times the gradient of g of x, y, z. And you also have to solve the constraint equation. So g of x, y, z equal to a constant. So in this problem here, this is our g and this is our constant. So this is our constraint equation over here. So recall the gradient of f is the vector consisting of the first order partial derivatives of f. So the first component is the partial with respect to x. The second component is the partial with respect to y. And the third component is the partial with respect to z. And that's equal to lambda. And then here uh, we have the partial with respect to g, gy, and then gz. And then our constraint is just our constraint, right? It's, it's up here, so we're good. All right, let's go ahead and work this all out and see what we get. So we have to compute the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we treat all of the other variables as constants. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. And all the other derivatives are 0, right? The derivative of y squared is 0, and the derivative of z squared is 0, because we treat them as constants when we're taking this partial. To compute f sub y, everything is constant except the y term. So it's just 2y. Likewise, to compute the partial with respect to z, everything is constant except the z term, so we get 2z. And this is equal to lambda. And let's see, gx. Well, these are going to be easy, right? They're all just going to be 1. So the partial with respect to x is 1. The partial with respect to y is 1. The partial with respect to z is 1, right? So we just get 1, 1, 1. So pretty straightforward. This is equal to, just multiply the lambda by the 1. So lambda, lambda, lambda. These vectors are equal. This means that lambda is equal to 2x, and lambda is equal to 2y, and lambda is equal to 2z, right? Because you just equate the components, right? So lambda is 2x, lambda is 2y, lambda is 2z. But they're all equal to lambda. That means they're all equal to each other, right? So they're all the same. You divide by 2, and you get x equals y equals z. So you may think we're stuck, but we're not. Right, we're not stuck. This is the point where we go to our constraint. So let's do that. So our constraint is up here. So we know they're all the same. So we can write this as x plus x plus x minus 9 equals 0. And you could, I could have done y plus y plus y, same thing. So 3x minus 9 equals 0. And then uh, add the 9. So 3x equals 9, then divide by 3. So divide by 3, divide by 3. So we get x equals 3. Now that we have x, well, we know they're all the same, right? So, oh, so that means that y is also equal to 3, and z is also equal to 3. How nice. Uh, now we're done, right? We just take these numbers, and we plug them in here, and that's going to be our minimum. Boom, piece of cake. So f of 3, 3, 3. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, this is going to be 3 squared plus 3 squared plus 3 squared. So 9 plus 9 plus 9, which is 27, because 3 times 9 is 27. And that, my friends, is the minimum. So that's how you use uh, Lagrange multipliers. I hope this video uh, has been helpful.